Okay, so we're at the 2023 Dusseldorf Boat Show, and this is the new Fairline Phantom 65, and it's its world premiere at this show. I haven't done a tour of this boat, so we're gonna jump on, and I'm gonna show you every bit of the boat, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, let's go. Right, before we go up on deck, I just wanna show you, this boat has got a very clever chime, which means, that it's quieter. And the reason it's quieter is because that's the waterline there where the black stripe is, and that's the first chine. Now on most boats, the chine goes up there and the water then slaps underneath this chine and makes the boat noisy in the forward cabin. But on this boat, the chine is below the waterline, that's the waterline, so therefore, there's nothing to slap. So it's really quiet. Okay, so this boat has got the Cat 1150s, which gives a top speed of about 31 knots. You can order it with the Cat C32s, which will give you 1,650 horsepower each and push the boat to a whopping 37 knots. So this really is quite a fast boat. So let's show you some key features. I'm gonna come back to the platform in a minute because I wanna show you the saloon first because it's so nice. So this is the cockpit and it's huge. Look how huge it is, look. Oh, by the way, have you seen my stocks? That is the Beatles. Can you see John Lennon's face and green hair and stuff? Very nice. And they're actually really comfortable socks too. So as you can see, we've got a lovely seating area here and it wraps around here. And what you would think is, well, that's funny because you've got a gap there but Fairline have made this lovely, simple design. You just lift this up, pull it up, and then you can sit on it here. Huh. And then when you finish with it, you just put it away. So that works really well. And the table is huge. Look at this table, Dan. How nice is that, eh? And look, look, you can probably get two, three, four, five. It's probably eight or nine people on this table. It is that big. The other thing I like about the latest Fairlines is all this beautiful uh, fluting they have. Whether it's GRP or wood, it's fluted. And look, this is actually GRP. This is not paint. So if you scratch it, you can easily repair it. And that's got a big locker in there, all in grey. So let's jump into the saloon. So the factory being quite clever here, the door parks under the staircase so it doesn't waste the space. And on the other side is the fridge and freezer. And then on this side, you've got the electric high-low window which is, look how quiet that is, Dan. That is so quiet, isn't it? Really, really nice. And then, as you come into the saloon, we've got the dinette area here, with the galley here, all pretty standard layout, but you've got these really deep lockers at the back, which I love. I mean, they're really deep. I reckon you get a pan in there, actually. Let's give it a go. Nearly, it needs, I mean, that's a big, big locker. We've got overhead lockers here, which are loads of space, where's the button? Oh, oh that, maybe that's not a locker. And the Fairline glasses, as usual. So if we go forward, I'll show you the seating area. Oh, I forgot, this is the, uh, God. This is the um, crockery with all the Fairline things and, is it made in England? Yeah, look, made in England. That's something you don't see every day. Beautifully done. So, let's do the saloon. Okay, so we're into the saloon sofa area. This has got the optional high-low table, which goes up so you could eat, or it goes down so you can have it as a coffee table while watching the TV, which is a high-low one here. One detail I'd just like to point out is the air conditioning vents. Now, these are all handmade from a little piece of wood. I've seen these being made at the factory. They take hours, but really, really nicely made. And while we're on the subject of wood, 
This is walnut satin. Um, we do a walnut glass, we do some light oak finishes too. And actually I just noticed something else. This, this boat is full of storage and surprises. Here's your drinks cabinet, Dan. I think it takes bottles of champagne as well. Uh, obviously you'd want to chill them first, but it's an overflow of your, your uh, alcohol storage. Then to the lower helm here, twin um, helm seats with electric adjuster, which goes up and down on that button there. And you've got a fantastic lower helm driving position. And I love the dashboard. It's very, very, very high end automotive design in my eyes. And tell us about the front screen, James. Oh, it's interesting you should ask then. Mm -hmm. The front screen is um, a single piece um, curved and it's got UV um, protection too. So that keeps the temperature, temperature down in here as well. And it will stop any uh, bubbling to the dash? Or it will, yeah, it will do. It will stop bubbling of the dash and it will also stop the wood degrading and changing colour. That's a which, good thing. Which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. We've got proportional thrusters and because this is the Phantom, we have an electric sunroof, which we'll just show you here. I mean, obviously it opens right up to here and we have a small flybridge, which I'll show you in a minute. But the feeling you get in here is just of opulence, class, and luxury, and it feels very, very comfortable. Right, let's go down. What's that vent doing there? It's not a vent, is it? It's a it's shell. It no, it's not air. It looks like an air con, doesn't it? But it's actually a shell. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Right, let's go downstairs. So, there, you can have this boat in four different layouts. You can have four cabin, you can have three cabin plus utility, you can have three cabin plus day head, and you have the VIP big forward cabin. This boat has got three cabin plus utility, which actually is proving the most popular. So I'll quickly show you the master, if you follow me and then we'll show you the other cabins. Okay, I'm really pleased to say this boat's got a sock sofa, which is ideal for doing, putting your socks on, or tights in the morning. This cabin is identical to the Squadron 68. The two boats sh share the same hull, so you have got the same layout down below. And if you watch my Squadron 68 video, which we'll just put up here on the screen if you missed that one, this, in my opinion, this cabin, this master cabin, is the best and high, most highly finished um, cabin, uh, quality cabin that I've ever seen on any production boat. So if you look at the fluting up here, all the beautiful fluting here, uh, the ceiling panels, they're just like a work of art. If you can see all the way the lights are done, you've got this lovely inset, um, wood here which i can't remember what wood it is but it's a really really rare wood and the pillowed bed can you see the pillowed bed down look you know like it hovers and then it's like a pillowed finish um, of course it's practical too either side of the bed you've got a reading light here you've got a place for your phone you've got a place to charge your phone you've got a usb port there as well you've got all your lights you've got your air conditioning every detail is thought about here we have the stool for the dressing table the woodwork here how it just kind of diamonds in together is stunning and then the little chair is on a little cantilever like the squadron so when you're out at sea it doesn't fly around all in all it's perfection so this is the master heads but as we come into the master heads you've got a lovely deep wardrobe there with a lit handrail and you've got another one here where you press the mirror and look at the size of that down. Do you know what? I reckon I could. Do a flossy test or not really? No, I don't think I'll do a flossy test. But look how big that wardrobe is, look. I can get in the wardrobe. I can't get my wardrobe at home. That's a big wardrobe. Breathe in. And come and look at the bathroom. Massive shower 
which I can tell already. So actually, someone's, someone's used the shower. Um, the f I'm not going to mix their towels up, but I can tell you it passes all the floss tests. And look at these buttons, Dan. You can, you know, it's really easy to use. And look at that big shower. Beautifully finished, lovely toilet, all the cabinetry. And another little detail I love is look, the top of the doors have got the same finish, kind of marble finish. Just lovely little details. Really, really nicely done. Okay, so we're gonna walk forward. We're at the show, so there's a few people about. Uh, washing machine, washer and dryer here. And then if we go forward, we've got the um, utility room here. Now you know my favorite feature of this boat, which is really quite sad because it's a three million pound boat. But my favorite feature on this boat is the ironing board. How cool is that? I mean, this is just, this boat is so practical. You can imagine if they've thought about putting an ironing board on there, you can imagine what else they've thought about. So this room here is for more storage and all your bags and wine and water, if you like water, all those things. Another detail, look how the hatch here is stainless hatch so you can get straight to the bilge. Lots of manufacturers don't do this and you have to lift up the carpet and all sorts. And then the inspection panels below there. So you've got a storage area, then you get into the bilge there. That stainless there, will cost a few hundred pounds to make, because look, it's all hand welded out of stainless steel. That is the Fairline difference, Dan. Did you know that? Certainly do. Right, let's see the VIP. Look at this cushion, Dan. You're like a soldier. That what is the, they call them, soldiers? Um, the guards. London, London guards mm -hmm. with the bearskins. Yeah. That is so fluffy, feel that. How fluffy is that? This is included if you buy it at the show. Now, this boat, the VIP at the bow, it is fair to say, in fact, come in. It's fair to say the VIP is slightly smaller than you might expect. And I've got to be honest with you, it is. But if you want a bigger VIP, a bigger second cabin for your guests or family, then choose the other layout where the door moves around the side and you get a much bigger room. So there are different options. Now, the people I've sold the boat to have said, well, actually, we're going cruising as a couple with friends coming. They're only gonna sleep on board. We're not bothered about that compromise. We can't make all the living space, Fairline said, as fantastic as possible without having to compromise elsewhere. I'm just being honest with you. It's only a small compromise, but you need to know about it. The bathroom here is exquisite. It passes the floss test. It looks great. The curved woods, the, all the things you expect from Fairline are fantastic. And then going back into the main foyer and then into the twin room, you have got all the same quality and finishes, electric twin beds that go together. And of course, you just pass me that, of course, you have got another heads, which is beautifully finished. So, I think we should go onto the fly, Dan, don't you? Certainly do. Um, just as we walk out the fly, you've got an electric sunshade here, which How come, you just press a button. Do you want to show us? Uh, I don't know where the button is. It's the first one. Oh, is it? Oh, oh, you're showing off, are you? Sunshade out, yeah, all right, there you go. So, there's the button for that. You've got a garage here, which takes a Williams Sport Jet 395, and you've got this lovely sunbathing area here. We'll do the four deck in a minute, but let's go upstairs to the flybridge. So this boat is destined for Hong Kong and it gets quite hot out there. So they haven't chosen a teak floor, which is highly unusual. Um, most customers would order a teak floor, uh, but actually remember this is a sport bridge. I know the, the, the flybridge is much smaller than a 68, but you remember you've got this sun hatch here. So you've got a hard top boat which you can drive from down below and you've got the flybridge, much like the Princess S series. 
So you've still got all your amenities, you've got the table, the seating, you've got the uh, barbecue and the sink and the fridge. And let's see if they've put an ice maker in. Yeah, they've put an ice maker in then. Is that good? Well, they won't like me saying it, but they're awful. I don't know if you've heard me say it before, but they use the water from the, um, the tank of the boat, which isn't the best. Because that's like shower water. Makes your ice cubes and it stops working all the time. They break all the time. Just go to the so shop. Would you have two fridges? I'd have two fridges, or I'd have one fridge and a gap, and I would buy the ice in the supermarket in those lovely little bags and put them in the freezer. Super simple, never lets you down. Look at the seat bases. Really nice detail. And the dashboard, again, is a copy of the lower helm, really simply laid out. Is and the vis or GRP? This is all GRP, all, all GRP gel coat. So if, it's, if you scratch it, it can be polished out. A really, really nice view out. So let's go down the side decks and look at the bow. Yeah, it's a fuel filler. Look, you've got a grab handle up here. Lovely design, how this comes down. It kind of hovers. We'll show you an external picture so you can see. Got fender lockers here. The reason I'm being a bit careful is because if I just trip, I reckon it's 30 feet down there, Dan, do you? Is it? That's a long way down there. It is, yeah, right. So, welcome to the Portuguese bow. We have two sun loungers here. We've got wraparound seating here with music. We've got USB charger. This table can fold away. And also you can just see the fantastic one-piece windscreen from here and how beautiful the boat looks. And I tell you what, you can see that UV film as well. It looks really nice. You've also got these little lighters here and the deck lights. It's just really clean design and it works really, really well. This boat is gonna be a cracker. Well, I know you lot like engines, so I'm in the engine bay and I'm gonna do my summary down here. These are the Cat 1150s, beautifully made, beautifully installed. So the summary of this boat is 65 feet, sport bridge, hard top, um, garage, high-low platform, oh, the high-low platform slides out and goes down, Portuguese bow, four cabin or three cabin plus utility or three cabin plus day head or three, four cabin, sorry, three cabin with day head and bigger VIP cabin. So you've got those options. Um, you've got 1150 engine options, which does 30 knots and 1650 engine options, which do 37 knots. In terms of pricing, this one here is with the 1150s. It's got a quite a high spec. It hasn't got everything. It hasn't got a passerelle. But this one here, uh, which is going to Hong Kong, the retail price is 2.73 million. 2,730,000 XVAT, which is very, very competitive in the market. I think she looks fantastic. We'll show you a video of the outside while I'm talking now. Um, she performs fantastically. Um, we've done lots of sea trials off um, Ipswich and she was at the Cannes show and everyone said, I think motorboat and yachting said it drives beautifully too. Um, and overall as a package, she's a very, very highly polished jewel. And if you can afford one, and I appreciate it's a lot of money, then I would recommend she is on the shortlist. <laughs> And to add to my comments, Motorboat and Yachting clearly agreed that this is the best boat in its class. A couple of days after I filmed this segment, the Phantom 65 won the prestigious Motorboat of the Year award in the sports cruisers over 45 foot category. Here is what they had to say. This may be Fairline's first attempt at a sports fly design, but you'd never guess it from the way it looks, performs and feels. With those sleek flowing lines, it strikes the perfect balance between elegance and sportiness, yet somehow still manages to pack in up to four cabins below deck and masses of sociable living space inside and out. The Phantom 65 really does feel like it offers the best of both worlds with the looks and driving characteristics of a traditional sports cruiser 
but also the comfort and practicality of a flybridge. Right, before we go up on deck, I just want to show you this boat has got a very clever chine. Rich! Rich! Rich, I'm filming. <laughs> so here <coughs> is the waterline there, and you can see the chine is below the waterline, which makes it really quiet. Look how interested the girls are in that. Look. 